Really stimulating lunch hosted by Ashurst for the American European Business Association. Huge number of issues in my Davos wrap, which is one, uh, the World Economic Forum trying to push very heavily their agenda about stakeholder capitalism this year. I have my questions about what stakeholder capitalism actually means. And when it comes to it, is shareholder value still far more important than stakeholder capitalism? That's something I brought up a lot uh, with uh, the incredible CEOs, chairmen, presidents, prime ministers I spoke to in Davos as well. Uh, but there's no doubt about it, that was very much secondary uh, to the climate debate. And I asked actually the, the, the table uh, at the lunch uh, who they thought the star act was in Davos. And they said exactly what I wanted them to say. They were beautifully trained. Uh, and they said, some of them said Greta Thunberg, others said Donald Trump, the US president as well. And that's exactly what I wanted to hear because I think they were both two bookends of the key debate in Davos surrounding climate and of course the ESG ramifications, this horrible acronym which means uh, environmental, societal and governance issues as well. And I thought it was very interesting um, conversation we had around the table, whether Greta Thunberg was right to be perhaps so alarmist, whether Donald Trump um, wears his denier uh, uh, on cl man-made climate change hat too, too strenuously and actually concentrates too much on the economy as well. And I would probably say, from my experience, that we're both probably wider than Mark. Donald Trump perhaps needs to get on uh, that side of history. And yet Greta Thunberg is wrong also in saying that Davos is just about words rather than actions. My experience in Davos was that hundreds of billions of dollars, perhaps trillions of dollars, is looking for a home. Perhaps cynically as well, there were those I spoke to in Davos who were saying, look, if we're going to see all this money coming through, we fear that this is going to create bubbles, that there's going to be misallocation of resources. And one or two people said to me, we will be the people selling picks and shovels to these people in this gold rush as well. So despite the fact that there's some very well-meaning constituencies, and I've no doubt that Donald Trump and Greta Thunberg are very well-meaning in what they say and what they think, the fact of the matter is, business is business. And some people are looking at the opportunity there as well. Very interesting looking at the differences between European business and US business. That came up a lot uh, around lunch as well and concerns about private markets rather than public markets. Uh, Europe undoubtedly looks like it's at a disadvantage. The European banks are very worried about negative interest rates and the lack of demand that those negative interest rates from the central bank are creating as well. On the other hand, of course, Donald Trump saying, if only we had those low rates in Europe, then we could stimulate the US economy uh, and get it even better. So this incredible ironic situation where the Europeans are complaining about it and the Americans are complaining that they haven't got it as well. I don't think Jamie Dimon's complaining about negative rates quite as much as Donald Trump. So we had some really stimulating conversations about a whole host of issues at lunch.